In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you three ways that you can use AI to optimize your law firm. AI really has the ability to give us superpowers. It has the ability to take the skills that we already have and amplify them. So in this video, I'm gonna show you a couple ways that you can use AI very, very easily for your law firm to get amazing results very, very quickly. Now, the first thing that you can use AI for is responding to Google reviews. Now, if you look at the information provided by Google, they don't tell you a whole lot about specifically how to increase your Google rankings. But one thing that they do mention on their how to improve your local ranking on Google website is the importance of managing and responding to reviews. Although it's not going to make this massive impact where you're gonna to respond to a few reviews and you're automatically gonna to shoot to number one on the Google rankings or the Google maps, it is very, very important, if not for a ranking standpoint, just for a conversion optimization standpoint. When people Google you and people search for attorneys like you and they're reading your reviews, you better believe that they're also looking at what did the law firm say to those people who left their reviews, both positive and negative. How did they respond to those reviews? So a well thought out heartfelt message will always do better than just a generic, thanks for the review. So you can use artificial intelligence to create these messages really, really simply. And I'm gonna show you how you can do it. So let's go to Google and just find a lawyer. So I'm just gonna say personal injury attorney near me. We're going to go down to Lopez and Humphreys. Never met these guys before, don't know anything about them, but I'm gonna click on their reviews. So let's take a look here at their reviews. So this is from someone named Sheila. Uh, you can see there's a response here. Uh, their response was, this is a five-star review, and they said, Sheila, we will certainly share your comments with the staff. Thank you for the opportunity to work with you. Do not hesitate to contact us again if you need anything in the future. All right, so that's an okay response, but let's see if we can use chat GPT to give it a better response. So what we're gonna say is, um, please write a response to this five star review from a client named Sheila. Now, we wanna specify, because I've done this before and I've said, please write a response, and it's actually like ChatGPT is writing the response from ChatGPT. So we wanna specify, please make sure the response is written as though a, an employee of the law firm is writing the response. All right, then we paste that, we hit enter, and let's see what the response is that we come up with. Now, what's amazing about this response is that it actually pulls out specific things from her review and includes them in the response. So for example, um, it says, uh, your satisfaction, the results, blah, 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 especially Miss Lopez. So in the review, it actually calls out Miss Lopez. Miss Lopez, I'm assuming, is an attorney at the firm. I'm not sure who Miss Lopez is, but the other cool thing is, you can see, it says she's represented our family on multiple occasions. In here, it says, we greatly appreciate your trust in our firm to represent your family on multiple occasions. So it's actually responding to the review and putting information in there that's actually a thoughtful response. Now, let's say you wanna write this as you are Miss Lopez. So uh, please rewrite this response, but do it as if Ms. Lopez is responding, responding to the review personally. So look how much better this response is and how much more personalized this is. And it's written as Ms. Lopez this time than just this one. Sheila will certainly share your comments with the staff, right? So like <laughs> you can use this and it's so, it's so nice. Now, what about a negative review? Let's say there's a negative review. So let's take this one and let's use this to respond to a negative review. So let's say, please write a response to a one star review from a client named Jennifer. Here is the review. Oh wait, and then we wanna make sure that we say, um, please make sure to write the response as though it were being written by a member of the law firm or I say employee. So take a look at this. This is a great response to a negative review, to a one star review. So you can use this to write really, really high quality responses to both positive 
and negative reviews. In fact, I actually tried this earlier with another attorney's reviews. And I'm not gonna use that as an example because the client actually accused the attorney of withholding some money that shouldn't have been withheld. So I didn't wanna put that in here, but the response to the review was actually really good. And it even addressed that specific issue and gave a really, really good response. So you can do things like respond to reviews and give great responses, great heartfelt responses to your Google reviews, which in turn is going to make people who are researching your firm it's gonna make them feel better about your firm, have a better sentiment towards your firm because they're seeing how you're responding to all these Google reviews, both positive and negative, and it's gonna make them see you in a more favorable light. So the first way that you can use ChatGPT to optimize the kind of mundane, boring things that you don't wanna do in your law firm is to use it to respond to reviews. Now, the next kind of seemingly boring, mundane thing that you can use ChatGPT to do to automate your law firm is doing research to find websites that can link to your website. Now, why is that important? Why is it important that you get websites to link from their website to your website? Well, because when websites link from their website to your website and you have locally relevant websites that are linking to you, that is going to make you rank higher. In fact, Whitespark recently put out their 2023 local pack finder ranking factors and number 19 and number 21 both had to do with having quality inbound links to your domain or to your GBP landing page, your Google Business Places landing page from locally relevant domains. So let's go to ChatGPT and ask ChatGPT to help you find which are the local directories that can give you links in your local area that will help you with search engine optimization, because there's a lot of directories out there and there's a lot of organizations you can join like bar associations and chambers of commerce, but they don't all help you with search engine optimization. So ChatGPT can give you a list of all the websites that you can then focus on. So let's say this, I'm a family law attorney in Orlando, Florida. What is a list of local business directories that I should join. Please avoid directories that won't help with search engine optimization. For example, I'm looking for local bar associations, chambers of commerce, etc our spelling and then we'll go and see what it says. All right, so as you can see, it gave us 12 directories that are all very, very good to join. Some of them are very obvious, like the Florida Bar Association and the Orange County Bar Association, but then there's also Central Florida Family Law Inns of Court, Orlando Regional Chamber of Commerce, Seminole County Bar Association, Osceola County Bar Association, Central Florida Association for Women Lawyers, the Collaborative Family Law Group of Central Florida, Hispanic Bar Association of Central Florida, Central Florida Gay and Lesbian Law Association, Central Florida Business Directory, the Orlando Business Journal's Books of Lists. There's so many more. So what you can do is you can also say, please give me 10 more options. So as you can see, it gave us 10 more that are locally specific to us that are all actually going to help us with our search engine optimization. So the reason this is important is it skips all the ones that don't have directories that aren't gonna help you. So you can go through this list and then you can go through one by one and figure out how do I join each one of these associations, which is going to help us with our local search engine rankings because as you can see, number 19 and number 20, it's all about the quality of inbound links from locally relevant domains, super, super important. Now the third mundane task that is vitally important to your law firm that you can use chat GPT for to really take your law firm to the next level is writing job postings. Now. I talk to lawyers all the time who say, I can't hire, I can't hire, I can't hire, I can't find good candidates. Well, one of the reasons that you're not attracting good candidates is because you're not writing good job ads. You're not writing ads with compelling headlines and you're not writing ads that are designed to get people, to get qualified candidates to actually want to work for your law firm. So you don't have to figure out how to do this on your own. What you can do is use ChatGPT to do this for you. So let's start first with the headline because just like any ad, a headline is the most important thing. It's the first thing that they're gonna see. Let's say we're an immigration law firm in Orlando, Florida. 
So as you can see, I gave ChatGPT some information and it gave me a headline. Unlock your paralegal superpowers, join Orlando's premier immigration law firm and make a life-changing impact today. That's pretty good. I mean, most of the time you just see paralegal position, right? But that's pretty awesome. Let's do, uh, let's ask it for two more. Now, the reason I'm asking it for two more is because just like in your advertisements, you should A-B test your headlines and your job ads so you can figure out what is actually going to attract qualified candidates. So there's two more. Embark on an epic paralegal adventure, champion immigrant rights, at a top tier Orlando law firm. Next one is transform lives as a paralegal superstar, ignite your career at Orlando's elite immigration law powerhouse. These are all fantastic headlines for a job and light years better than most, like 99% of what's on Indeed right now. Let's go further. Let's actually have it write the job description. What we wanna do is we wanna give it a little bit more information because remember with ChatGPT, it's garbage in, garbage out. If you don't give it good prompts and you don't feed it well, it's not gonna give you good information out. So what we need to do is we just need to give it a little bit of information so that it knows the benefits of the job and then it can write an amazing job description. All right, so take a look at this. This built out an entire job description. Now, obviously job title, we're gonna have to work on that. We just take one of these from up here, right? But look at this. This is such a better job description than I really ever see on any of these platforms. And the reason why is because it's written based on making a candidate actually want to work for the law firm. So I'm not gonna read this entire thing, but you can even see they put an entire section here why you'll love working with us. Now, what's cool is that I gave it a, I gave it information, but I mean, I gave it like less than a paragraph and it kicked out this entire thing, it kicked out why you love working for us. It, it's, uh, are you passionate and dedicated? Uh, are you a passionate and dedicated paralegal ready to make a real difference in the lives of others? Join our elite team at blah, 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 Orlando's top immigration law firm and help clients fulfill their dreams of moving legally to the United States and starting a new life. Uh, as an integral member of our team, you work with experienced attorneys, why you'll love working with us, top of market compensation, flexible remote work, exceptional company culture, talented, diverse team, meaningful work. Like this is great stuff that job candidates and job seekers are actually interested in. So you could take this and just make some small changes, make some small tweaks to it. But this is pretty much good enough that like 90% of this is probably ready to go. That's what I love about artificial intelligence and where chat GPT is going is that you can take seemingly mundane tasks and, and tasks that would really take you a long time to do and you can supercharge yourself and really probably do a better job than you would have done anyway. Let's be honest, I wouldn't have written a job description this good or even come up with job titles nearly as good as the ones I just came up with. So if you start looking at how can I use ChatGPT to optimize my business, there's a million other ways. These are just three of them, but hopefully this will get the wheels turning and kind of give you some ideas of how you can use this amazing software and how you can start thinking about artificial intelligence so that you can use it to supercharge your law firm and ultimately make a bigger impact on the world.